Why not? So let's do um, e4. Let's play. Um, let's play chess. E5. He's gonna play Stafford. He might. He might play Stafford. Um, yeah, and I do encourage people to watch both streams. You can watch via the squad stream or just avoid have Stafford? two tabs open. I don't know. Let's avoid Stafford. See what happens. Bishop C4. Okay. He plays knight Bishop here. C4. I'm just going to play D3. I'm oh, not I even going to attack the this, pawn. Actually. If I don't attack the pawn, um, I don't have to take it. This is... um. Right? What do you call I mean, this? let me might play this because I, I think he does Bishop play Bishop's opening. So. Okay, it could so go now into Italian let's just transpose to Italian. No Stafford this time. So very clever, right? Very clever. Castle. So we have an Italian opening. Hmm. A6. Okay, so normally they played this. C3. Because yeah, I like to play this early. Play nice be too boring. Uh, A6, Bishop, A7. So you don't it's... want that. A4, getting space. That Usually just sense. a good square for the bishop. Able to stay flexible. Now D6. I'm waiting for D6. Bishop G5. Okay, so normally play, in this opening, like, G5. you want to go... And... Uh, Rook e1, and then h3, knight bd2, knight f1, attack. knight g3. Because this knight is much better Rook here. E1. I read in a book somewhere, it, this was called the Stanley's Maneuver. I think it's, the, it's this one. Well, somebody named it Stanley's Maneuver. It's you can name it whatever first. you want. There's some line with, uh, with knight g4. Stanley's Maneuver. Knight bd2, like if, knight here, knight If knight here. g2, I'd probably play knight um, g4. But there's a chance that he might do this. So let me just go ahead and play so this h3 move. So h3 is, uh, is standard here. Sometimes when I go here, he goes Okay, right I'll play there. h6 and then we're going to have... I think that was his plan. Okay, so now there's I There's one game plans. I remember from Carlson here. where he plays this bishop e6 and d5. Now we go to Stanley's maneuver. He'd like to thank Stanley. Yes. Bishop e6. Yeah, so Eric's playing the most, like... It's actually Carlson Main versus line. Nicholas I'll take the bishop. Ball. He's going to take with the rook, Pro probably. Chess League, I think 2017. And then... I think and the Carlson just went here. for d5, d4. So we're literally in the main line of the Italian. And I'm, I'm kind of out of book already. Um, by the way, welcome all the new people. Um, thanks for being here. Happy Saturday. Well, Gari's rating is really nice. He plays d5. Okay. Yeah, this um, isn't rated, so, so he, that's, that there's, no, to take uh, this. <laughs> there's no rating on the line. And then take my queen. Did I mess up already? Lovey knows the Stafford. Right. I think I'm fine. Queen c2. Oh, I see the comment from Nixia. He may, he may know the yeah, stuff. I don't think I've messed I, up. I feel like I know it better than him. Because if he plays this move, trying to break my pawns, I will go here. So we'll see. And then his attack is knight. Then I can move my pawn without losing my pawn. Okay. So in the the Carlson game, I he can't just figure out and enjoy. Hey, does it work actually, guys, in the chat? And then does the squad stream things work? with the knights. Even I can watch in squad mode. Wow. Does that mean I can see Eric? What he's thinking? What his body language is like? That might be a clue. Okay. Good. All right. So you can hear both audio, I think. Um, so one watching. of the benefits so here was my um, idea. Is What's B4 going on here? B5 is potentially a target. Like if it takes, I could consider taking here. That's what I said, right? But okay, I probably okay, just I'm take gonna try this because control the d4 square. It's the only thing I can see. Because of c4, I would have knight. Um, knight b4. And then... Okay, so there now there's a question. Need like a, a double agent guy in the chat who, or... who goes back and forth between Eric's stream and my stream. <laughs> tell him, tell me what he's thinking. First. Just kidding, don't do that. But you can. Okay, ninety-seven. Um, it C4, takes four. That was the plan. And there's some crazy lines where he's scheming. Okay, I can see like that. Takes, takes, so takes, I can take the takes, pawn. Bishop d4 in or the I can end. Push the pawn. Pushing the pawn seems they both have their pros and cons. Hmm. I know. That's what I. I, I mean, I'm good at p avoiding people's uh, the time is good. I think. I know Gary. Kind of sidestepping those things, but okay. C4 or take. Gary likes to think. He's very capable of playing like okay, really great. just strong moves, but I know he's susceptible to time trouble. I still don't know what's better. This is one of those decisions um, I just make and then. So that's something to take advantage of. But I'm the uh, same way. I think. So. I think I'll do this. Uh, I might regret I just this. have to manage my time. So I'm giving away my square. Okay, so he takes on d4. If he takes the bishop, but actually... So um, I might... Uh, this pawn is hanging, so if he takes here... I mean, if we trade if and then there, I take with queen... If he takes with the queen, then I go bishop here. He goes back. back. Does that mean I'm... Or I can go here. I'm, I still don't know if I'm better or worse or if it's equal. So if I don't know if I'm better or worse, probably it's equal. If that makes sense. Yeah. I think it's okay. Okay, so there. And then I'm I remembering take... uh, what Sagar Shah said in the post-game interview. 
that yes. I'm very tricky with knights. And I was saying this too, that knights can be just a better piece in Blitz so chess. Because they're trickier. Plays queen d7, attacking my pawn. Like most stronger players sense. prefer bishops long term, but the knights will do some hoppity, hoppity hopping. It's getting complicated. I'm pressuring b5 as well here. My pawn's not too happy. And if we trade, then a4 could be weak. I can, play, I can sack the pawn, but I don't know if I want to do that. I mean, c7 is also yeah, I sacrifice the a potential target. All right, let me sack the pawn. Okay. I mean, can I just take... <clears throat> we trade d3 things, I think. Hey, Neptune Kid, what's it going looks on? pretty good. There's Rook A. Is Eric like really seven. focused right now? Uh, is he talking to chat? I wonder. I'll take with the bishop. Kind of relying on, on so he takes this pawn. Here. I take that pawn. He takes this pawn. I take that pawn. Because takes takes. He's going for it. Takes He's takes. Going for it. Okay. I can also play this. This is really complicated. The setup is a little bit awkward. But actually, okay, it's still this. kind of nice. So rook b1, that's a good sign. So I'm down a pawn, but he's focused and commentating. Okay, Queen so I should probably do the same. Five. Um, I'm down a pawn, but my goal is to win one of these four. three. Or maybe two of those three. He's trying to, you know, if I win one or two, he's trying to win one or two back. Mm. So, Frosted Delure, I think that question I can't answer right now. I don't remember what the board theme is, but. Yeah, not exactly what I wanted to Queen play. Six, I calculated this. I take. So I'm up a pawn, but these pawns are pawn a little so bit this, ugly. I knew that was not bad. Knight c4, I play knight g6. Or knight g7. Here. Yeah, I, I calculated that this is actually good for me. Because I'm down a pawn, but when I win this pawn, I have a good rook on... Yeah, this... I just did he blunder? I'm did kind he blunder of something? This pawn. Wait, did he blunder that? Okay, that was a blunder, I yeah, think. that was careless. Eric's probably not happy with that. Okay, so he takes here. Then I take his knight. He takes... Okay, so what's going on? Really bad. It's going to be a worse endgame. Okay, I'll do that. Mm. He's probably not too happy right now. Have this move. But this could still yeah, be a draw. my pawn structure is such in shambles. This could still easily be a draw. Okay, if I push... Well, I do have a pass pawn. For some reason, I like it's it. only pass pawn on the board. I don't know why I like board. it, but I like it. So I'll play it. <laughs> it also gives my king some space. So right now, the, our material is equal, but Eric's pawns are really... Um, vulnerable. And his king's not that good. And if his knight moves away somewhere, then I can checkmate his king with this knight of five thing. So his knight's bad, his pawns are bad, also, thanks his for the king bits. is bad. Uh, I'm not currently offering chess lessons, but there is a coach command if you're looking for a coach. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like I can go for like a checkmate attack. Okay, this is really tricky. It, it might not even work. Yeah, time is going to be very this. relevant. Check there. Okay, so I want to play this and this. Like a normal person. Okay, Access normal dark person, squares. king g2. Can I even go well, like this? Five. Wait, he, did he miss that? I I just said that that's a bad move, right? Or is it not? The knight wants to be here, actually. Okay. I'm predicting king g3. Okay, I'll play this because I don't want to allow the knight to come in. So now the knight and the rook I'll defend the pawn. This. Or... So they both have some mobility. Knight C4 idea. Ooh, I have so little time. Hmm. Ooh, maybe I should have played this and take the pawn. I might walk the king to D8. Hmm. 
a really tricky position. So I'm playing bullet. I'll see. He's playing blitz. I'm I'm worse here in the position, but it's tricky. He's waiting for me. He's waiting for me to make a mistake. Yeah, that's kind of what he's doing. Check. I think that was bad. Mm. Oh, this is so close. What's that? Oh, I missed that. I missed that. Wait, why is he thinking? Oh, he was thinking for a good move. That's a nice mate. Okay, man. Okay. Wow. It got really tricky. So that was end. a that was an intense game. Like I had to. Um, uh, I think I had big a big advantage. Complicated. And then, um, okay. Just, I think you buy a too much time here. Or yeah, this is probably a pretty pretty good advantage there. Okay. And... Good game. Okay, so first game. Yeah, I tried to avoid your Stafford. Uh, it was a spur yeah. of the moment decision. Actually, it was literally I just thought of it. Like right during the game, because you you would normally play knight f three. I assume. Yeah, I would normally play knight f three. Right. Uh -huh. This interesting. is like interesting. Interesting. I don't know if you if Levy's gonna try this. He might. He might. You never know. So um, I remember when I played Fiddler in this Banter Blitz Cup. There, the first game, I played um, knight f six, mm -hmm. and then he played some weird line like d three, and then for the rest of the match, he played bishop c four and basically transposed into an Italian. Um, so uh -huh. I'm aware of this. Like, if okay, I guess right. if you play Stafford, you kind of have to be ready for okay. Bishop's Makes opening. Sense. Makes sense. Okay. So, yeah, this happened, and we we went to kind of a main line. I think all this stuff is theory, but the thing is, like, mm -hmm. it's so transpositional. I can play a4 first, I can play rook e1 first, I can play a3 first. There's so many in different every, move orders. Yeah, in every single tournament game, I I mean, my my opponent and I would take like. 20 minutes to just get to a position that you could get to in two minutes because we're mm -hmm. both just thinking like um this could transpose to that like this and like what's the best order and just working it out um this has happened multiple times and i thought it was really funny um, yeah that you would you would get take so much time to get to a position you already know just because there are many ways to get to it um so that's kind of yeah i don't even have to play a4 i can play h3 or rookie one so um, I'll admit I I have not studied so much specific theory. There, there's just mm -hmm. maybe a couple of ideas I know, but okay, maybe um, that's easier. <laughs> I've I've never wanted to like devote my my time and energy to like learning the whole labyrinth of of variations. Right. Um, yeah, it makes sense. Uh, yeah. So anyway, so this is all normal, I think, pretty mm -hmm. much, right? Like I, I'll just I was calling this a Stanley's maneuver. I don't even know if that's if that's true. I know for a fact that Knight C three ninety two. Is called Stanley's maneuver, but oh, there should be a name for this. Um, I read read in a book somewhere, but yeah, you can call it that. Or... I've I've known it as a Spanish night walk. Spanish night walk. But, okay, interesting. Yeah, it's I mean it's typical, um, especially in these like king pawn openings. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and for those who are new newer, I think they're uh, they're not going to be like they're not going to be aware of some. some it's of these a weird classes. thing to try yeah. and like figure out but it, it's so yeah. it's so normal it, when you play these you positions see, yeah you can't unsee it i guess once you see it <laughs> like whenever they play knight c3 i'm like yeah mm -hmm. you can play knight c3 but it's just boring if you go knight c3 like you know in many of these positions that's true if you want to if you want to just kind of make it more interesting you have to play knight d2 
Okay, so it's still it's still uh, very normal. Yeah. And, and I, I, I should was... note, uh, black has the same maneuver like knight e7 yeah, to g6. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, good. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've done that with black. So this, yeah, I think this move d4 really surprised me. And I wasn't mm. sure if I messed up or if you messed up in the theater. Maybe neither of us messed up and it's actually a move. Okay, a court leech has Caruana has played it, so you didn't mess up. <laughs> oh, oh, I have I don't have the database open. Oh, yeah, that's just, that's nice to see. Yeah. Okay. Fabiano and Anish so, Giri has played this. During during the game, I was mentioning that I was following a Carlson idea. Uh-huh. Um and I'm gonna try and find Ooh. the game. Wow, we we lit I've literally and we both literally played the exact same moves as Oh, Fabiano you're playing like Giri and I'm playing like you, Fabiano. You're playing like Fabiano, yeah. Wow. And I oh here here I stopped playing like any of them. Bishop okay. B two. Maybe a blunder, <laughs> okay, that know. was my fault. I know what happened. Yeah, this is the worst move because um, the reason I played Bishop B two is because I want my knight to go to E three. But I realized that I should probably leave this file for my rook to protect mm. the pawn. So, although in the game my bishop was really useful. Oh, I mean, you I you did? ended up winning the pawn yeah. on yeah. E five. So so yeah, Bishop B two was a mistake for sure. In hindsight. Yeah. Um, um, it says bishop here. I mean, it looked natural in the moment. Yeah. And rook here. Mm -hmm. and apparently, it's slightly better for white. I don't know. I don't know why it's slightly better for white, but it says it's slightly better for white. Probably yeah, I guess my pieces pressure. are a bit clumsy and the yeah, like queenside mm -hmm. pressure. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. I I really thought, um, and maybe it kind of happened in the game that your your queenside pawns were going to be a bit more vulnerable, especially right. with d three. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But I guess here yeah. everything's stable for you. So I played this bishop b2, and now you're probably, okay, still equal. So we're falling, yeah, it's still equal, and I played rook b1, and I was surprised by the decision for you to, to trade. Mm -hmm. you, you're messed, you must have missed something. I was in, being like, too materialistic. Moves. I didn't want to ah, lose back okay. a pawn. Okay. okay. I was thinking about playing queen a5. Also, thanks so much, Pepe, for the raid. Really appreciate that. Shout out to Pepe. Um. But queen a5, knight c4, and then like everything yeah. is kind of stuck. Yeah. Yeah. And I, otherwise, I, yeah. I didn't see where else my queen could go, where it kind of holds on to everything. I mean, maybe queen a6 in hindsight. Keep an eye on mm -hmm. d3. Queen a6 is better, yeah. Then I take this. You take... This is what I was expecting. You take this. Uh -huh. I take with the queen, and you take with this queen. And I thought that I'm supposed to win this pawn back somehow. Uh, on e5. On e5. Probably I, I will. I'm not even sure if I will. And even if I don't, it's pretty drawish. Yeah, it's pretty drawish. Like rook, rook b5, maybe. I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe you're, you're, I mean, it looks like you're better here. But... I mean, in a blitz game, especially yeah. like with a one second increment, I would I would try and just torture yeah. white in this position. Yeah. This like, even if you went back upon, I have two knights, which are, are tricky. Apparently, sometimes. the computer says you can play rook. I can play rook takes b7, which is leaving my back rank. Oh, there's no checks. There's no checks on either square. But what does this do? <laughs> uh, oh, just to win this pawn. Mm. But queen e4? Hold on, what's going on? Then I check. And then I win the knight. I win the knight, but then you win my bishop. Wow. Oh, oh and then and my then pawn my is bishop. weak in the end. And then, <laughs> and then I win your pawn on f7. So this is yeah, a very could, like, concrete. I could totally calculate one. this in a, in a blitz game. Yeah, easy. Easy money. And, the, and then I, I, I might be slightly better. <laughs> but then you probably make a draw because... A perpetual check or something. Or yeah, it's. So, I feel yeah, like that's... in a position like like even this queen endgame with the knights, it's anyone's game. Like yeah, that's all true. three results are possible in a that's time true. scramble situation. That's true. As long as you don't play like e4 and allow queen takes d7. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's so easy to get to get forked when you have just yeah, a few it's, seconds it's, left. Yeah, it's. Hold on, let me adjust my microphone a little bit. Okay, is that better? Hopefully. Uh, oh of yeah. Course. Okay. Um, um, usually if it's closer, it's better. There's a little bit of like background hiss, but it's not too bad. Okay. So, um, yeah, this is what, it, how the game should, act so if basically if, if Gary and Caruana was playing in this position, mm -hmm. they would probably go into this and they would make a draw, I guess. Yeah. Can, but, can I just yeah. show there, there is one, um, the one game I was kind of playing based off of sure, was, sure. I'm going to add as a new chapter. Sure was Magnus Carlsen versus Nicholas Rosenthal. Carlsen was black in um, in 2017. Okay. And it was ahead. just the same idea of, of D5, uh, D4. 
Yeah, no, I, I know about this idea. Mm-hmm. It's just that when uh, you play, when you play B4, when I play B4, B5, I, I don't know. I know the, the idea of this is to win this D4 square, right? And, and to get some space, right? You just kind of like going um, for the squeeze, yeah. Right, right, okay. Um, and this game took a, a completely different path because it was a bit more positional, like the center closed down. But that was okay. kind of my opening inspiration for the, the game that we played. Okay, okay, makes sense. Yeah. Um, all right, yeah, I, I I've known about this idea before. Mm-hmm. Uh, so okay, so then in the middle, uh, let's see, we got this, and here I was very confident. But for some reason, I I'm like I didn't know how to win with this position. <laughs> like it's uh... not that easy. It's not that easy. A G four was good. I, I don't know how to take advantage of these pawns, and and you're really resourceful. Uh, oh, thank you. Oh, oh, playing h4, h5, stopping knight g6. Oh, wait a second. If I play h4, wouldn't you play? Oh, I see. King g2 was a bad move because then you have knight f4 check. Yeah, I was just trying to get counterplay with my, yeah. my knight. Yeah, so h4, h5 is kind of like prophylaxis against your idea of bringing your knight in the game. Uh-huh. Uh huh. And here, it, this king is just misplaced. So my, I could even get mated if I if I do this. Wait, quick question. <laughs> like, look at this. Yeah, I'm mating you, but you're mating me. <laughs> that's actually really, uh, really nice symmetry really here. Funny. But yeah, quick question: uh, If if you play h4 uh, in this position, I play knight g6, and then I have knight f5, and you don't have check. Ah, uh, and you're already threatening mate. Yeah, this Ouch. is the the right event, course of it. Yeah, I couldn't put everything together in, in time. Yeah, mm. I guess I have to walk to h7, but it's very unpleasant. Yeah, this is how Magnus would have played it, I guess. Yeah, I mean, sometimes <laughs> when you're when you're getting low on time, it's better just to keep keep making moves, even if you yeah. don't have a clear, true. clear plan. True, true. Um, just to try um, and avoid time trouble. Yeah. So yeah, I just got. Apparently, I should go to go back and admit my mistake. My oh, knight yeah, was so sad; decision. it was pinned. It was just the saddest night ever. Like this is—it's just waiting to deploy, mm-hmm. but I didn't want to admit my mistake and just go back. Sure. And the and thing I was, I, I wasn't sure what to do either. Like you, you eventually played the move, and then I took a lot of time, like yeah, to play I, rook b three. Yeah, this just surprised me. I thought I'm winning here, but knight g four was really clever. Oh, thank you. Gets, yeah, if you don't have oh, 94, 94 is I think winning. I'm, yeah. Yeah, if you don't have 94, I think I'm winning. I'm pretty sure. Yep, yeah, yeah. I I have the engine turned on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I just didn't see this. It was, and then it's over. And that it's a nice miracle tactic. that everything works. Like you, if you go back, yeah. I have this, and if you go up, I have this, and your knight's too slow, and mm-hmm, mm-hmm. even um, I didn't even calculate 95 check, but yeah, I mean neither. I didn't see this idea, but your rook covers it, so it's 95 king b6 and. Yeah, the yeah. knight doesn't. So that was good. I mean, I shouldn't have taken that. I should have just went back. And then it's probably going to be a. Yeah, I'm not sure. White's probably better. I mean, it's so crazy all... here. Yeah. Because I'm it's still going to try and be it's... tricky, but. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a crazy game. But you probably sure. have other chances. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it's I just basically the, the time. Um, time it was the problem. Plus one is so Definitely. tricky. Um, yeah, like five plus one, it seems like you have a lot of time to. And then suddenly, to suddenly think, you're playing then, bullet. <laughs> then it, it turns into a bullet game. So, yeah. Um, okay. That's good to get practice. 